Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Lisa and today I'm setting up for the month of August uh, 2023. So what I'm using is just, um, you know, like a little budget planner that I made myself in Canva. And I have all of my, um, my budget planner free for you guys to download in Canva. I'll have it linked down below. Uh, this month I have this seashell background, but uh, if you don't like that in Canva, you can remove the background or add something else that you like better. So um, do check that out. Share that free for you guys um, to use. All right. Um, so before I get into the calendar and what's due, let's talk about uh, what is not on my uh, budget calendar. So first off, I am debt free. I don't have any consumer debt, uh, including my car. My car is paid for. I'm currently renting, so I don't have a mortgage or anything like that yet. Uh, my car insurance is paid uh, for six months. That won't be due again for uh, quite some time. Um, we are moving. Today is Saturday the 29th of July, and Monday we get the keys. And at our new place, we won't have a water bill, and we won't have lawn care, which is great. My emergency fund is currently sitting at $8,000. It was at $10,000. Um, if you're new here, I had a chihuahua named Chewy, and he got really sick earlier this year, and um, we, I desperately tried to save him and uh, spent $2,000 of my emergency fund trying, but ultimately um, we had to let him go. So um, I do have to replenish my emergency fund after, you know, the move is over. My renter's insurance, I'm paying yearly now through AAA. It was only like, I don't know, $92 a year at the new place. My cell phone I have through Mint Mobile, and that is paid yearly. And it'll be due again in August. But thanks to all of you who have used my referral link, I don't have a bill um, until probably, gosh, 2024. So I, I do appreciate those of you who use my link because, um, that's one expense I don't have anymore. And then last is Netflix and Hulu. I don't owe anything on that. I use gift cards to pay that up. So, um, all right. So that's all of the, the things that you won't see on my budget. And before I get started, let's say thank you to today's sponsor. And I'm going to insert that clip now, and I'll be right back. Hey guys, pardon the interruption to today's video, but I wanted to take a moment to say thank you to today's sponsor, Julia. Julia is an online jewelry retailer. They are headquarters out of Los Angeles, California, and their manufacturing headquarters are in Hong Kong. Um, their jewelry pieces are made out of 925 sterling silver, and they are 100% handcrafted. They offer ring sizes ranging from 3 to 15, and you can visit their website. I'll put it up here. Everything will also be down below in the description box, but their website is www.julia.com, and Julia is spelled J-E-U-L-I-A. So just a few things about their shop. They are currently um, offering a give back sale. So it is 10% off statewide, or statewide, site-wide, and you can use code M, like Mary, 10. And a second sale, which is buy one, get one at 30% off using code H30. And that runs until August 1st of 2023. So let's go ahead and look at this piece that I got. It's called the Julia Story Sterling Silver Cocktail Ring, and it retails for $109 USD. All right, so this is how the box came. It opens up 
and it comes with some directions, important information about their jewelry. It comes with this really cute gift bag. So if this is a gift, you will appreciate this. You don't have to buy anything separate. In that gift bag, it comes with a card and it also comes with a cleaning cloth, which is really handy for sterling silver. So that is nice. And then next we have a, uh, like a brochure catalog. So it has necklaces, they have rings, bracelets, they have all sorts of stuff. And um, so this comes in the box, which is great. I love having, you know, actual catalogs to hang on to. And then we have the box in the middle here. So I'm gonna set that aside. So this is just like your standard ring box. It has hinges and it opens up. Now the inside is covered in felt and the top has their logo, which is for Julia. And it has the slit for the ring. And other than that, and the logo, there's no other decorations or information on the box. So this is how the ring came. Came with the barcode in this little Ziploc bag. And let me open this up. I absolutely love this ring. I love um, cocktail rings. So it has the size on there. This one is size 11 US. And the tag says it's not returnable if the tag has been removed. So this ring is sterling silver and it has 0.935 carats and there are a total of 31 stones. And I'm not sure if my camera is picking up all of the details, but it is very, very shiny and glittery, which I love. This is a 3.4 millimeter band. And with any purchase, they offer free shipping over, I think, $95, offer a 30 day return and one year warranty. And this, I think these are cubic zirconia, which I love, but you can also upgrade the stones to moissanite, which is wonderful. So for another 9471, this can be upgraded. And I really love all of the items on their site. I really had a hard time just picking one, um, but I wanted to pick something that was budget friendly and at $109 um, retail um, right now with um, their discount is really budget friendly. And there are a lot of items on their site that they offer at um, you know a really reasonable price and with their discounts, uh, make them extremely budget friendly, which you guys know on this channel, I only share items that I love, companies that um, I believe in, and items that are budget friendly, and this is certainly no exception. So I hope you will check them out. I will have everything linked down below in the description box. And thank you again to today's sponsor, Julia, for sending me this beautiful piece of jewelry to share with you all. And let's get back to the video. All right, well, thank you for watching that quick interruption. And I am wearing the ring that I reviewed. I absolutely love it. I um, could not be more pleased with this ring. So I hope you guys will check them out. All right, uh, let's see here. So I used this Ohuhu um, dual tip marker. I used the dots uh, to put the dots all over my calendar. I used the thin marker tip to write up at the top. 
I used my um, Uniball Impact 207, which is a bold pen, to write all of my dates. And yeah, so let's, uh, I don't know that I'll use any of these other colors. I'm gonna set them aside. I'll probably just use a pen for the rest. Okay, let's start off um, August 1st. Now, typically rent would be due in August, but I actually don't have rent to pay in August because in June when I signed my lease, I paid for August rent up front. So I won't have anything actually due on the 1st. Okay, uh, second, I don't have anything due that day. Nothing on the 3rd. Uh, Friday the 4th is actually a really... Uh, that's a, a big day for um, my budget. The fourth, I guess I should probably, let's write down my paydays first. So the fourth is a payday. And so is the 18th. Uh, okay, so on the fourth is when I am going to pay half of my rent. Now my rent monthly in the new place is $800. So I'm going to pay 400 on the 4th and I'm going to pay another 400 on the 18th. I've already talked to my friend that I'm renting from and she said that was fine. They didn't really care if they got it all at once or split up, didn't matter to them. So it's easier for me just to split it up. That's what I've been doing for quite a long time. Uh, so we're going to keep uh, that. And then uh, the electric, we're going to set aside 100. And in this new place, it's a brick house. So um, it should, in theory, be more energy efficient and hopefully get you know, have lower electric bills than I do in this place that we're in now, which is a, you know, a 1996 uh, single wide mobile home. Um, all right, that is it for electric. And then my daughter, Carol Ann, she is going to get 180. And that is her allowance for uh, two weeks. It's not 180. It is 80. I need to change my calendar. It's 160. I think I did that last month too. <laughs> yeah, 160 for her. Okay, let me actually make that change to my calendar before. I mean, I, I know how much I sent her, but I do like my calendar to be correct. And future events. Okay, so that is that. And I am using just a Google Calendar. I have it up on my computer right now um, that I'm referring to. Um, it does make it a little bit easier because I tend to check my phone first thing in the morning and I'll look to see any bills that, you know, are going to be paid. What do I need to do? And so it's really helpful to have that correct. Okay, so last on Friday is the trash bill. And in the new place, uh, the trash bill is, I think, 20, it's $28. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to set aside 14 from each one of my paydays. Okay. All right, so that's it for... Days. I don't have anything else that I need to do. Um, my Roth IRA contribution is actually on the 4th, but I wrote it on the 5th, probably because Saturday morning is when I will allocate uh, this money. So my Roth IRA is going to get $250 every other Saturday. And that uh, I am maxing that out. Not only am I doing a Roth IRA, but I'm also contributing to my employer's 401k plan. Um, any raises that I get are automatically going to 401k. And I've I've done that for the last couple of years. And so you won't see any change in my income 
because any raises are being allocated that way. Um, I've been living off of $1,500 every two weeks for a really long time. It's still working for me and I don't see any reason to, um, you know, increase my spending. So that's that. Um, okay, and then cleaning ladies are actually going to come a couple of times this month. So on the second, the cleaning ladies are going to come to the new house. And they're going to do a deep cleaning of an empty house. So it might be a little bit more than a hundred. I'm gonna budget a hundred dollars because um, that's what they normally charge. But I do have some extra funds from the last few times they would have come that I didn't need them to because we're packing. So I have some extra money to buffer um, anything above and beyond the hundred dollars. And then the move out cleaning for this house that we're currently in. This one. This one probably isn't going to be very expensive because the house is empty. The appliances are brand new. So there really won't be a lot for them to do. It'll probably just be a regular cleaning. And then the cleaning on the 9th, this is the move out cleaning. That's going to be the expensive one. Um, you know, I'm. it'll probably be 200 because they'll do everything from top to bottom. So this one, yeah, that one probably will stay 100. And then we'll get back on track in terms of our bi-weekly cleaning. So whenever I get paid, they will come that uh, following Wednesday. So they'll actually come three times this month. And that'll be 100. So the hundred dollars, this is, you know, a hundred of this, a hundred of that is already in my, will be in my paycheck budget, basically. This will be paid with last month's um, income that I received on, what is today? Today's the 29th. So the 21st and the 7th, I set aside a hundred dollars. So I definitely have more than enough to cover that. Okay, so that is cleaning, ladies. Let me look and see if there's anything else. Um, I do have my YouTube payday on the 21st. That will probably be, I don't know, three or four hundred dollars. Won't be very much because my uploads have not been super consistent while we are um, preparing for our move. And, okay, so aside from that, we've got my Caleb donation. That is on the 23rd. I will say 21st. And that is $30. Okay. And then, I think, let me just double check my calendar rent on the first but not do this month payday rent electric carolina trash yeah i don't have a lot actually the only thing that is drafted i'll say from my paycheck is k love right now um oh i didn't even mention like the water bill we the new place has well water the trash is paid quarterly, so this is just something that I'll hang on to. I'll probably do a um, sinking fund for the trash bill. But, um, yeah, I don't have anything else coming out this month. So, that's everything, guys. Um, thank you so much for watching. And do let me know down in the comments what you think of my ring from Julia. I absolutely love it and appreciate them sponsoring today's video. And yeah, I think that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for supporting my channel. And I hope you guys have a great day or night wherever you're at. Bye.